Hi everyone, I'm Santiago from Kinova. Welcome to our last tutorial. Today we will be following the planning around objects tutorial. So we will be able to plan a trajectory uh, and uh, successfully go around an object in our planning scene with our simulated arm. Uh, just to recap what we did on our latest video, we did the visualizing in Arvis tutorial in which we were able to uh, control our code using some buttons and also display some feedback uh, in Arvis for the user. So let's go ahead and click on the link here to start our tutorial. And the first step that we need to do is to add and include to our source code. So we will be uh, using this planning scene interface class to add uh, objects to our planning scene. So let's open a terminal and navigate to our workspace so I have it under workspace move it source and I'll open this in VS code and this is our source code so let's go ahead and paste our include save and let's come back here so now we are updating the target pose just to so that it makes sense with uh, where we will place our object later on. So we can just copy this whole block here and replace uh, our previous target pose. So here we're not changing anything except just the goal pose of our arm. Let's save. And now we can actually create a collision object so let me just copy this and I'll explain it in a couple of seconds so let's copy and paste it right here let's paste and let me indent everything all right so again we're creating a collision ob object that we will be adding to our scene and to do this we're doing it with a lambda function um, for this lambda function we're capturing the planning frame of our move group interface so in our case is the base link of the arm uh, we need this because all of the positions and orientations that we will be setting for uh, our collision object they need to be referenced to a coordinate system so in our case uh, we're, we will be using the coordinate system of our arm so that's why we're capturing it here so that we can use it uh, over here uh, which uh, which is here where we defined uh, the frame ID of this object so everything will be uh, relative to this frame ID uh, so yeah basically the first step is we're creating a collision object message which is uh, a type of the move it message package um, I will put the link in the description of this video so you can see the whole interface uh, of this type um, but for now we will just focus on the on the fields that we need so uh, here the ID uh, this can be anything you want this is just an ID so that you can recognize uh, the objects in your scene so in our case we're just calling it box one and here uh, we need a primitive so for this example we will be ad adding a box uh, so uh, we need to create a solid uh, primitive so that we can define uh, the dimensions of this box so here we're just instantiating this uh, message type and under here we are actually defining it so the type we want for the primitive is a box uh, we are specifying three dimensions so we're just here uh, resizing the array that holds the dimensions and then we are assigning a dim dimension for it each axis of, um, of the box so uh, here we're uh, specifying 0 0.5 meters in the x direction of our frame ID um, here for the same thing for the y direction but it's uh, we're defining 0 0.1 meters and for the z dimension uh, 0 0.5 meters as well then we will also need to define where we want to place this object so we need to instantiate a 
pose message which is from the geometry message package of ROS uh, and then here uh, this is the position in which we will place it in our scene so uh, 0 0.2 meters uh, away from the arm in the x direction 0 0.2 meters away from the arm in the y direction and uh, 0 0.25 meters in the z direction and now that once that we have defined all of these positions and dimensions we are adding adding them to our collision object so here we're pushing uh, the primitive here we're pushing its pose and this is the command uh, to add our object if we would want to delete it we can also i think the keyword is remove and we can also update an object i will also put uh, ah, this is already defined in the link I will put for the collision object so you can go ahead and see all of the possibilities that we have and so now we have a collision object created let's go back to our tutorial and follow along and now we're at the step where we are actually adding it to the planning scene so for this like I mentioned we will need to instantiate our planning scene interface class so let's go ahead and do this uh, right underneath so let's paste the command here and now we will just call this function that it's called apply collision object and we will give it the collision object that we just created and this should add it to our virtual scene so now when we will run uh, our launch file and our vis will uh, spawn we will we should be able to see a box uh, of these dim dimensions placed at this distance from the arm uh, up here in our scene so we can now go ahead and actually test this uh, so we need to build our project so that it takes our changes into account so let's go back in level uh, type our command call con build mixin debug let's do uh, some parallel workers let's limit this to one because we're just building a package and let's select our hello move it package sorry do I have a oh I have a typo workers and I will see you after the build all right so now our build finished successfully and now we can run uh, our launch file and our uh, hello move it code so let's open up a second terminal we will source our build in both of these terminals so here and here and we will launch this command this is the same launch file that we have been using since the beginning we're just here we're specifying an Arvis config uh, that already includes the uh, GUI buttons and the marker array that we did in our previous tutorial uh, you you can use uh, your previous uh, config but here uh, move it provides an already uh, let's say ready uh, config for this so let's just use it so we can launch this and you will see Arvis here and let me let me just rearrange my screen I'm going to place this over here and this and now we can launch our hello move it script oops sorry it's not this it's rust to run hello move it hello move it and now once i run this command um we should see uh are the same the same steps uh, that we saw in the previous video so there's a prompt that will ask us to press next 
uh, for planning and then for executing and we should also see our obstacle appear in our scene so let's run this and here we go we can see that our obstacle is now placed at the um, position that we specified and the orientation that we specified as well so now if we want to start planning we can uh, open this uh, I can just actually I don't need this anymore so let me uh, put this here and let's click on next and now we can see that we are planning a trajectory to avoid our obstacle and now that it's planned we can click on next and it'll actually execute so let's go ahead and click next and we see that our arm is successfully moving uh, to its goalpost and avoiding its obstacle in the scene. So that's about it for this tutorial. You can always uh, do this same example on a real arm. We have already seen what we need to change for uh, communicating with a real arm. I can come here and show you just to refresh your memory. So we would need to go here on the demo launch file and change these arguments so put the actual robot IP uh, this we set to false these we leave it as is and this we would set to true and we would be able to uh, do the same exercise on a real robot you just need to basically uh, find an obstacle of uh, of your choice, uh, change its dimensions, place it relative to your robot, change also that pose and then you could run this example again uh, with a real robot. So uh, that's about it for the tutorial, thank you for following it around and keep uh, please keep aware of uh, our channels for the uh, future tutorials. Uh, thank you again for following and see you later, bye!